We are going to answer the mystery questions about uh, AC circuit and effective values. The first question, the value of alternating current that gives the same heating effect that the corresponding value of direct current does is called, it is the definition of the effective value. Effective value is the amount of direct current that gives equivalent heating effect to an alternating current. So this is the definition of effective value. And power dissipated in an AC circuit equals blah 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 the power dissipated in a DC circuit when the DC current and its potential difference equals maximum value AC current and its potential difference. So when both AC circuit and DC circuit have equal maximum current, uh, power dissipated in AC circuit is half half of the power dissipated in the DC circuit because AC circuit is maximum at some instant but DC circuit is always maximum, DC current is also maximum that's why the power dissipated in the AC circuit is half of the power dissipated in a DC circuit. Question number three in a ground fault interrupter GFT the difference in current across an outlet would be measured in terms of answer is effective value effective value. Many measuring devices uh, measures effective value, voltmeter, ammeter, and this is also a kind of measuring devices. So it also measures effective value. Question number four. Effective value potential difference of an AC source is 10 volt. Uh, this is the V effective. And its frequency is 50 Hertz. The equation of inst its instantaneous potential difference. So, so we know uh, generator's uh, instantaneous potential difference equation is V is equal to V max sine omega t. To write the equation, we are going to insert constants into this equation. Omega and Vm are constants, so we should calculate them. Then uh, we should insert them. Uh, effective value of the potential difference is given, so we can calculate first what maximum value of the potential difference, then uh, omega, and we will insert them. Uh, maximum value of the potential difference is effective value multiplied by root of 2. So effective value is 10 uh, multiplied by root of 2. So this is the maximum potential difference. So this is first. Now second, let's calculate the uh, omega. Omega is equal to 2 pi f. So uh, 2 pi, I will leave the uh, pi uh, as a pi, not triple. I will not write 3.14 because choices are given in terms of pi. Uh, frequency is 50. When I multiply them, omega becomes 100 pi radian per second. Now I calculated both constants uh, and maximum potential difference in omega. I am going to insert them into this equation and I will write instantaneous potential difference. Maximum potential difference is 10 root 2 sine and omega is 100 pi and we shouldn't forget t. So now according to this equation instantaneous potential difference changes as time. So correct answer is D. And question number five, the average value of an AC current over one cycle equals. So we know AC current is changing uh, as positive and negative uh, half. One cycle has one positive uh, half and positive I maximum and other one is negative i maximum. So average value is sum of them, so divided by two, so i average is going to be positive i maximum minus negative i maximum divided by two, so result is going to be zero, so answer is zero in here. And an AC source of value V is equal to 10 sine uh, 50 pi t in which V is in volts and t is in second. What is the maximum EMF? So this is the generator equation. We know generator equation is V is equal to V maximum sine omega t. Instead of mu maximum, what is written in here? 10 is written in here. So maximum value of the source is 10 volt. 10 volt. 
So answer is B. Question number seven. The effective value of potential difference of an AC source is 15 volt. And effective potential difference of this generator is 15 volt. And the frequency of the voltage is 50 hertz. Frequency of the generator is 50 hertz. The equation of the instantaneous potential difference of the source. We know equation for instantaneous potential difference is uh, for the generator V m sine omega t. So we are going to calculate these constants one by one. After that, we are going to insert them into this equation and we will write expressions for instantaneous potential difference of the generator. So let's first calculate omega. Uh, omega is equal to 2 pi f, we know it. So choices are given in terms of pi, so then we are not going to write instead of pi 3.14. 2 pi times f is given as 50. So the result is going to be 100 pi radium per second. This is omega. And let's calculate the maximum potential difference. Effective potential difference is given. So if you multiply effective potential difference by root of the, we will calculate uh, maximum potential difference. So 15 root 2 is equal to 21.21 .21 volt. So we got both maximum potential difference and omega. So then insert them into this equation. B is equal to maximum potential difference. We calculated 21.21. .21. Sine omega is 100 pi, 100 pi t. This is the uh, equation for instantaneous potential difference. As time goes, we changes. So correct answer is A. By what factor you multiply the maximum EMF to calculate RMS EMF? RMS EMF effective uh, value. Uh, so a question for calculating effective value is Vm divided by root of 2. Or we can write it 1 over root 2 times Vm. So maximum value must be multiplied by 1 over root 2 to calculate effective value or RMS value. Yeah. Question number nine, nine, an alternating current's maximum current is 10 ampere. What is the average value of the current over one cycle of the AC signal? It's this similar to question number five. In here, numbers are given. In the question number five, they didn't give the maximum value. So one cycle is, you know, one positive, one negative. So positive, this alternating current is changing between positive 10 ampere and negative 10 ampere. So uh, average value is calculated by positive 10, negative 10, divided by 2, so the result is 0. And calculate the power loss in a wire of resistance 150 ohm when traversed by a current of 10 amperes. So uh, this is the direct current or effective value because uh, it is not maximum. If it is maximum, it must be specified in here. So this is the electric current, direct electric current, and this is the resistor. And then for a direct electric current, effective electric current, uh, electric current. So equation for calculating power is I squared times R always. So R is given as 10, but square of 10 multiplied by 150. So it's going to be, let's use the calculator. 15 square, uh, 10 square is... Uh, 100, 100 times 1, 100 times 150, result is going to be 15,000 watts. 15,000 watt is the answer, but choices are given in terms of kilowatt. What is converted to kilowatt by dividing 1,000? So, 15,000 divided by 1,000, which is going to be uh, 15 kilowatt is the answer. So, choice is correct choice is B. Question number 11. The power of a bulb is uh, 60 watt. The effective value of the current is 0.5 ampere. So power is given. Effective electric current is given. What is the effective potential difference? This is the question. So power uh, can be written by uh, V times I. So uh, this is the equation for uh, for power of the DC and also effective values are assumed to be DC because they are constant. So we can use 
uh, this equation for calculating power. Power is given 60. Uh, effective value of the electric current is the question. Potential difference is the question. Electric current is 0.5. So divide by 0.5. Divide by 0.5. Both side. So effective potential difference is going to be 120 volt. B is the correct answer. And maximum potential difference of an AC generator is 55 with 2. So this is Vm, V maximum. If the resistance of the generator is 55 ohm, this is R, find the effective value of the current in the of the resist of the circuit. So effective current is the question. But maximum potential difference is given. Let's first calculate a, a maximum current. Uh, because maximum current is maximum potential difference divided by resistor. Maximum potential difference 55 root 2 divided by potential uh, resistance is 55. So root 2 ampere is maximum current. But question is not maximum, the question is effective current. So effective current calculated by maximum current divided by root of 2. So root 2 divided by root of 2. So result is 1. Ampere is the correct answer. And an AC source of instantaneous value V 200 sine 314 T uh, in which V is in volts and T is in seconds. What is the RMS potential difference? Effective value of the potential difference is the question. And uh, this is the generator equation. Generator equation is V is equal to Vm sine omega T. In here, uh, maximum potential difference is 200 volt. So maximum potential difference is from equation we can get it 200 volts. Uh, and effective value is very easy now to calculate. So two effective value is maximum value divided by root of two. Uh, so maximum value is 200 divided by root of two. Volt is the answer. So